Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we're just going to be doing a little bit of a classic makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm doing like a mod 60s kind of thing. Um, I don't know, I just felt very in the mood to do something a little dramatic, a little fun, a little bit. I think it's maybe because I keep seeing like Chapel Roan's makeup and her makeup is very... It's not always like 60s and mod, but it's very dramatic, very fun, lots of blues. So I wanted to do that today. So I started by priming my lids as usual. And after I blended that out, I did not set it with any powder. I went in with this baby blue eye shadow. I believe this is, yeah, this is a ColourPop shadow. Um, couldn't tell you the name of it, but it's in the Blue Moon palette. And I went in with a very dense packing brush and started drawing out my eye shape. This isn't something that's going to be super soft and blended. We want this very pigmented, very, I guess, harsh is kind of the word. Like, you just want it to really stand out. So I just kind of went around my crease, really using packing motions and really getting that pigment into that crease, um, but not doing anything to, like, cut the crease or define it or anything. So, of course, did this on both eyes, and I did end up doing it as a little bit of a wing, so you want to bring it out to a little bit of a point. Uh, but really this is all just in the packing and continuing to use little tapping motions. It's always going to decrease your fallout as well. So after I got that all packed on, I just took a clean blending brush with absolutely nothing on it and just went along the top line because I wanted it to have a little bit of a blend into my brow bone color, but I didn't blend it out so that it was completely soft. Um, just didn't want it like super super harsh so I just took a little bit of the elf brightening powder and put this on my brow bone it's just sort of a highlight color that's uh, matches my skin tone and then I went in with the color I believe it's Lumi it's from the blue moon palette as well it's a duochrome like white foil and I packed this on my lid now of course it's a foil so a little bit of it did transfer onto the blue so I did go back in and pack more of that on there when I was all done just to bring back that pigment to be exactly how I wanted it. This is very much like a Cinderella-y kind of color uh, scheme that I have going on here. But as you can see, I'm just packing a little bit more of that blue on. And eventually I did decide, you know what, let's just bring it down the outer V. Kind of frame in that uh, really pretty color. By doing this, it's just adding a bit more of a finished look to the eyes because I think without it, it just looked a little bit off and it definitely adds more to that Chapel Roan dramatic 60s sort of look. And then instead of black eyeliner, which of course would be quintessentially 60s, I decided to do a wing with this really pretty royal blue liner that I have. I haven't used a lot of my colorful liners in a while and I feel like summertime is the perfect time to bust out the colorful liner. Um, especially if you're doing like a really simple eye look, like just some sort of like nude skin toned type looks and you pop on just a really complimentary colorful eyeliner, it changes your look and makes it look like you put in so much more effort. I put on just a green pencil liner the other day and everyone was like, you look stunning. And I was like, I have like no makeup on. Uh, so, you know, colorful liner can take you a very far. And with that, I'm just putting on some black mascara and lots of it because we want big black lashes. And then I am just going in and throwing on some fluffy kind of natural brows. I hadn't decided which wig I was going to wear with this. If I had known I was going to pick the one that I did, I definitely would have used my like um, Slick It and Stick It, I think is what it's called, from NYX. It's kind of a red tone that I have for it. Um, but yeah, I would, I would have done like a bushier brow. Then I took this really light baby blue liner that I have and I just put a little bit on the inner corner. It did a really fun brightening effect. It kind of gave a finish to the... Uh, other blue liner that I had and it's just I don't know it just added a little something it made my eyes look a little bit bigger more awake and open uh, and then for the base I just did my usual with the undone serum stick that does like the four in one I really like this stuff super easy to use and I've noticed it's really helping my skin 
not get so oily as I'm wearing makeup because it's a good hydration. Um, and then I underpainted. Sorry, my whole computer just dinged. Um, I underpainted with my concealer. So I did everything underneath the foundation. I went in and kind of reshaped my lips a little bit. So they looked a little more even. Um, went under my bottom lip. Now when I put my foundation on, it's not going to look like this, obviously. Um, it just sort of evens out the color of my lips because the my bottom lip is a little bit uneven in color from like acne and different stuff like that. Um, and my top lip is a little bit uneven as well. So I just like to even it out with concealer once in a while when I think it's more noticeable. You know, the body dysmorphia kicks up and it's like everything about your face is wrong. Um, so we just fix it with makeup. If you're a makeup lover like me, you have seen the video of the girl who puts liquid uh, blush like all over her face before she does her foundation. That's not what I'm doing today, but it's pretty darn close. I decided I wanted to do a really rosy, really blush look underneath all of this. So I'm taking my kind of my more red tone, obviously. Uh, blush, liquid blush that I have, and I'm blending it out with a duo fiber brush all along my cheeks to meet up with my nose and I kind of basically made a W on my face when you look at it because I bring my blush up and back to kind of contour a little bit with it but then I brought it all the way across the apples of the cheeks up and over my nose and then all the way up the other side and sorry I had to bump my mic there um it just makes this it's it looks weird I look crazy right now but I promise when it's all said and done, it's super pretty. And the camera definitely did not do the blush justice when the foundation was on. Because when it on camera, it looks like, okay, it's a little pink. And then I put my foundation on. It's like, oh, all right. And this is the pretty fresh foundation, by the way. So not a super full coverage foundation. Um, but once I had blended it all out, um, it looked less pink than it actually was. And almost like the blush wasn't there when in reality like in person if you looked at it in the sun it was very like sun kissed kind of have been in the sun all day maybe have just a little bit of a flush on your cheeks sort of look So after all of that, it was time to contour. I went in just with my powder contour as usual. And I'm back to contouring how I used to. I think I finally figured out that this is how I used to contour in college when I really, really liked how my face shape ended up looking in photos. So I'm contouring just right under the apple of my cheek, kind of doing this C shape and then hollowing it out just a little bit to accentuate the roundness of my cheeks because I do have a rounder face, um, but not making myself look hollowed out. Then I decided, you know what? If we're doing the sun kiss look, let's add some fake freckles. So I added these with my brow pencil all just over the bridge of my nose and on my cheeks. Same place I put that blush to make it look very natural. Um, you can use eyeshadow to do this. You can use eyeliner. Uh, but I think that this pencil is the perfect shape because it's not perfectly round. It has a little bit of kind of a triangle shape so I could turn it, twist it, and it looks a little bit more like real freckles. Um, I used to have a lot of freckles, but now not so many on my face. I think it's because I'm like always retinoling and, you know, skin repair and all of that. Uh, after that, just a little highlight. So there is a little bit of highlight over the freckles, which keeps them, you know, looking more natural. I just added a little bit to the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and then of course all around my eye socket and cheek just to make it, you know, pop a little bit. And this is ColourPop Highlighter in Honeymoon. They don't make this color anymore, but I'm obsessed with it. 
So after I threw my wig on, I threw some lashes on. These are some 3D minks, I believe, from Ardell. These are one of my favorites. They have a lot of fanned out length on the ends and not so much on the inside. So they're super, super comfy to wear. Um, and I think they just kind of matched my look. So then I pulled half of my wig up in a scrunchie to give it just a cute little amount of volume. And then I threw on this super cute, like, nude coral lipstick that I thought just really matched the whole green eyes, red hair with the blonde kind of mod 60s look overall. I love this color of lipstick. Um, and this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.